Well, ain't that typical? Hi guys, out in the woods, and I found my perfect camping spot. And the thing that is typical is there is no good trees. There is no two trees that allow me to set up my hammock and tarp. Ah well, this will uh, allow me to show you uh, a very neat trick. I luckily got some rope with me. So uh, I will show you how to set up your tarp and your hammock with just one tree. Okay, let's get going. So, as you see, I don't like to have my stuff on the ground. The easiest way is to just put it up in a tree so it's clear of the ground and then you have everything neat and tidy there. I also just found the thing I'm looking for. I mean, we only have one tree, so I need another type of support for my hammock, and this will be perfect. The thing is that it will be extremely important that once this is standing, the base of this pole won't slip. So I will make it slightly pointy in the end, so uh, it digs slightly into the ground. So I'm going to do that right now. I think this will be quite okay. I don't need a really this will do great. Always have direct contact with the wood when you're using a machete. If I would have missed it would hit the tree not my leg. Right, so I got my uh, my hammock uh, tied off to that tree and now I'm going to uh, fix this side which is the, the tricky bit. My hammock has really nice tree hugging webbing and for this purpose that won't be really so nice. So what I'm going to do is I put a rope on it instead. I'm just going to use a simple sheet band to put a rope on it instead. So that is great. I'll be hanging on that one. I spared you all the boring bits and just set up this uh, pole. Uh, in a moment I will show you in, uh, in close-up how this looks, but uh, isn't this a funky setup, eh? Many people are going to ask me, isn't that going to fall? I mean, it's wobbly, you know? Uh, no, it's not going to fall. It's not physically possible as long as the base is stuck into the ground for that pole to really fall down. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll bring you uh, to that and give you a closer look on that. So, this was my webbing. Just a simple quick release sheet bend. You really have to trust your nuts here. Uh, because if that would, really, would slip, well, you get a, a pretty good wake up call. Same over here. That is just a, a Siberian hitch where the loop is locked. The loose, bend, uh, the loose bit, I, I moved down a bit and used it to create a second Siberian hitch. It's pretty important that the rope 
is centered on the pole on both sides. So you can't just wind it around because if you do that, um, yeah, the pole will go one way quite a lot. On that end, I had this log that was lying around here, which is a good anchor point, and I used a, a trucker's hitch to tension it. So, yeah, simple knots, but effective. Okay, you see the hammock is quite taut. You have to sit in a few times uh, so it will sink and you have to adjust the pole a bit, but hey, in the end, it will work. I'm now going to finish the setup and uh, probably the hilarious bit of me crawling into this. I'll get back to you when I'm done. Well, that doesn't actually look half bad, eh? Just like, like a normal hammock setup, with one difference. We only have one tree. I didn't bother with the sticks for the muzzy net, but there are some bungee cords holding it up. Okay, when I'm going to crawl in this, of course, the tarp is a bit more flexible. You should make sure your guy lines are not really that tight so that you have a bit of playing room, but uh, hey, it will keep the rain from me. Also, the tarp is, of course, anchored to the, to the pole that we have there. Uh, well, now for the hilarious bit, me getting into this. So good. Okay. Well, there you have it. A one tree hammock setup. I'm not falling, and this is really stable. I will show you. you can, there can be wind and everything. I'll be here. As long as the center pole doesn't slide, I'm good here. The more weight there is in there, the stabler this is. Whoa! Thank you for watching, guys. I will still... <laughs> I will walk you around this set of a bit so you can see how everything is done for a second time. But hey, I'm pretty pleased with that. So hang on, I will... Detach, put it on non-shaking, right, so, you see my tarp is just set up onto the tree with a normal Siberian hitch, the tarp is otherwise done just like you normally would, the difference of course being here, where I also have the tarp line anchored on the pole. And this I actually used the, the trucker's hitch there as well. Well, And there is a nice space under there. I hope you will believe this. I mean, I certainly haven't tricked this. You see me? lying in it and I'm a heavy guy so just go out and try it don't just walk away from a good spot because there's only one tree see you all guys <laughs>